I've been in business for 11 years and I've made tons of mistakes. I've lost money, I've lost employees, I've lost deals, and all of it has provided a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, and quite a bit of stress. The beauty of it is you get to learn from these mistakes and you can use this to propel forward. So the here are the biggest mistakes that I will never make again and that you can use to look out for whether you're new or experienced and running your business. First, when it comes to team, one of the mistakes I've made is I hired people that were less knowledgeable than me at a specific subject. This mistake, I am going to do my very, very best to never make again. What does this mean for you? This means that if you hire someone, whether it's an assistant, a salesperson, a marketer, the goal is that you hire someone that is better than you at that said topic. So if you're hiring someone that's to do sales, try to hire somebody that's a very good salesperson. If sales is your expertise and you're really good at it, obviously they don't have to be better than you, but they have to be very, very, very good. For example, at this point in time, I'd rather hire someone part-time for my business that is exponentially better than me at a specific topic than hire someone full-time that is knows less than me. In essence, one of the biggest mistakes I'll never make again is hiring people that know less than me at that topic. Business lesson number two, mistake I'll never learn, and one you can take with you, is spend a finite amount of money. It doesn't have to be too much. It can be someone partial to give you a projection of your cash flow, to give you a projection of your money. How much money do you need to operate your business every three months, every six months, and every year? And if you want to grow it, let's say from 100,000 to 500,000, or if you want to grow it a certain amount, then how much money is that going to take? Because a lot of us think that, okay, we want to grow. All we got to do is just grow our sales team, grow our marketing, grow this, grow that. But sometimes, more than often, you actually probably need an injection of money to grow the way you want to grow. And that might include lines of credit. Maybe you have to sell some assets, things like this. But a hard mistake that I learned that I will never make again, that you can hopefully take from this is spend a hundred bucks, spend 500 bucks on someone, invest the $500 on someone to just look at your books, look at your business model. And you say, okay, this is how much money I want to make this year. And how much money is that going to take? Okay. Based on what you're telling me, you're going to need a hundred thousand dollars in the bank in order to accomplish this. That would save you a lot of stress. Business mistake number three is put yourself and your business in a position marketing wise to make the most amount of money. What do I mean by this? For example, I'll tell you a little story. In our real estate wholesaling business, we started marketing to remote areas or areas with less population to do business there. And the challenge was that there are remote areas for a reason. <laughs> there's less people to buy, there's less people to sell, and really there's less profit to be made. And there's less chances the deal will close. There's there's less title companies, there's less, there's just less. Okay. So kind of looking back and a big mistake I won't make is not to say I won't market a little bit in that area, but you must put yourself in a position to make the most amount of money, put yourself in a geography, in an area, in a business model that is going to make you the most amount of money. Cause we're in business to make a profit. We're not in business to do remote stuff. We're not in business to just, you know, do the front end of the sale and then never complete it. So hard business lesson, hard business mistake. I won't make that again. Put yourself in positions, in markets, in areas, in marketing channels to make you the most amount of money. Business mistake number four, not understanding thyself to then not understanding your team. What do I mean by this? Well, there's a good book by Peter Drucker called Managing Oneself. What this book summarizes is, it's very important for you to know how you learn, how you work best, how you work with others best. Therefore, so you can work on your strengths and you can hire your weaknesses. Now, the challenges and the mistake that I made that hopefully you won't make is I depended on myself to self-analyze that. And I read a lot and I have coaches and stuff like that, but I didn't really take a strong action on this. So what am I doing differently? What can you do differently for this? Well, use a lot of personality tests, use recruiting, real proven recruiting and HR methods, maybe even outsource an HR person to help you hire and analyze people for you and get second opinions. So, well, it all starts with yourself. I took a series of personality tests, then I hired coaches that knew about these tests to then start telling me, hey, Raul, this is what I'm seeing, is this true? It's like, yeah, I'm pretty deficient there, I'm deficient here, I'm deficient there. Okay, so this is where you can improve or this is where you can hire so that someone can improve. So it took me a while to understand that Although I can be detail oriented, it's not my strength. Therefore, I could have hired for something like that way in advance. And if I'm going to hire, that is going to be my top priority. So understanding myself, understanding yourself, how you learn, how you work, what you're good at, what you're natural at, and what you're not, 
Therefore, so the next person that you get on your team can have that opposite set of skills and they're excited to have that opposite set of skills. That was a big mistake I will not make again. Last but not least, business mistake number five that I will not make again is not having extreme clarity on the vision of the business, not having vision on the core values and not articulating it clearly to the team. Now, this starts with you have to understand it. You have to be very clear about where you're going. You have to be very clear of what the business is doing at the said time. You have to be clear on where you see this business. The definition of vision is an image in your mind for the future. So if you don't have that vision in your mind, very clearly defined on a paper, in your brain, happening frequently, that means you cannot explain it to others. And people will stick around for the vision. And people will stick around if their vision falls into your vision. And if your values fall into their values. So there's times that business change. So the vision you set today might not be the vision you set in a year or in six months or in three months or in one month or in five years. So I've been in business for over 10 years and I set a vision 10 years ago. There wasn't a lot of diligent effort on my part revamping this vision. And this was a big mistake because I just saw the money. I just saw the success. I just saw the growth. I just saw the P&L. And I said, what do we need a vision for? We need a better P&L. We need more revenue. We need less expenses. We need more salespeople. We need more marketers. But I've never really spent a day, hours, three days, a session, a weekend to really like think and put that vision in my head so that I can portray it to people and attract the right people and keep the right people. So I know it sounds kind of woo woo this part, but I made this mistake this past year and it won't happen again. I encourage you take that time, maybe hire somebody, hire like a business coach for an hour to help you come up with that vision or three hours, whatever, or talk to your spouse about it or talk to a friend or talk to another business person. Come up with that, that business vision and have it crystal clear in your head so you could explain it to other people. Big, big mistake, won't happen again. Let me know, have you made mistakes? What were your biggest mistakes this past year so that you don't make them again? And I'm just curious to learn. I'm always learning from you. Put on the comments below. Always read the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.